guys, hi. Uh, today, I'm going to make this nice, simple, clean edit for you. Uh, very easy to follow along, very easy to make, okay? Just using two images. Uh, using this knee slide celebration and Ronaldo's trademark flip, turn in the air and land backwards celebration. Okay. Yeah. Uh, only a handful of layers, mainly just adjustment layers and a bit of shading and we're good to go so we'll get started so command n for a new document okay and the resolution that i like to use is width 1280 pixels and height 2272 okay uh, portrait orientation and that is the resolution for my phone for the iphone 6 so if you're using a different phone okay just google search and then you can find your resolution and plug it in and then you mix off lock screen so, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, and down here, it's usually the uh, the white colour palette, like that. So, just double click that, and I'm going to be using the colour 1C, 1C, 1C. Okay, it's like a nice dark grey teetering on black, okay. And if it's in the rear palette there, I'm just going to press Command and Backspace and fill it. I'm just going to convert that to a smart object. What am I doing there? So it's non destructive. And I'm going to add a gradient overlay. So double click the layer to bring up the layer style. Move down to the gradient overlay. Okay, and it's already set up from where I've made this previous, but make sure the blend mode's on screen. Okay, the opacity is at 21%. You click reverse. Uh, sometimes it won't come in reverse. Okay, make sure it's radial, uh, not aligned with the layer, and the scale's at 121%. Okay, and you can position it uh, however you want, but just for this one, um, you'll see why shortly. Okay, I'm going to go uh, with it just up there in the top right corner. So hit OK. And just to give it a little extra feature, I'm going to add some noise. So I'm going to go to filter noise, add noise. I'm going to make sure Gaussian's selected and monochromatic and 1.5%. And hit OK. Right. Time to bring in the trademark celebration. So, uh, before I did this, I've already, already cut him out using the pen tool. Uh, so, I'm just going to drag and drop him in. Okay, and I'm going to align him roughly about doing about there that's looking good okay and the first thing I'm going to do is apply a layer mask so come down to the bottom click layer mask okay hit the B, B button for the brush okay with the flow I'm going to drop the flow down to yeah about 70% okay make it a little bit larger and make sure you've got black selected. Okay, I'm just going to paint him away. Paint the lower half. And I'm just going to maybe up to around his waistline. Uh, that's looking that's looking all right again. Because it's a layer mask, we can uh, we can always reverse it and come come back shortly. Okay, next I'm going to get some levels going on. So hit the hit curves, don't want curves. In fact, I do want some curves actually. So I'm going to create that into a clipping mask. <laughs> and I'm just going to drop the shadow slightly. So if we can move that, I'll just. Just a nice, nice subtle change. And see how we get on with levels. Okay, I'm just going to bring it in slightly. Make them a little bit dark. Nine or eight. Yeah, that's cool. And just before I do it, I'm going to turn in black and white. So again, just going to lay down the bottom. Okay, and hit black and white. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to do some little bit of shading. So I'm going to select the Ronaldo layer, okay, 
I'm going to hit a new, la uh, new layer and I'm going to make sure I've got black selected. I've got the opacity at 100. Okay, and I'm going to drop the flow down to about 3% and zoom, zoom in. Okay, so with this, okay, I know I'm kind of rushing, uh, but I can, you can just paint on some shadows so you can see immediately there. It's making a small difference, okay. But I would use this opportunity to really zoom in. Okay, and then you can get in. You really want to make it good and take your time and make it a really good, nice, clean edit. Okay, making sure you keep changing the brush sizes. Okay, do the creases on his shirt. Just paint it in there, and it it'll look it'll look really good. Um, might have put a little bit too much on there. So come out. Sometimes if it is a bit too much, just drop the opacity down. Okay, and just paint it on. And what we're going to try and do is just get like a shadow, shadowy effect just to enhance the lighting that's coming from this this light source up here. Okay, and even just paint on a shadow where there wasn't shadow before. Back of his hands. Again, you can really take your time and do all the curves and everything. Uh, sorry, the creases underneath his armpits. Okay, so you can see you can see where I'm making a difference. You see what see where I'm coming on with this. Um, again, click Cristiano, click new layer, and we're just going to do the opposite. Okay, so if you do set a little shortcut as well, you can just click that, or you can just press D on your keypad, and it resets them. Okay, so make sure you've got white selected. Soft brush again, and just notice his head. I'm just going to paint on, so he's so he's looking into the light onto his neck. Works quite well. Sometimes when you're looking for images to use for your designs, these are the things you want to be looking for. You want to be looking for the the light source as well, and like thinking, oh, how can I edit him? So it's just something I like to do. Just paint him down there. So yeah. So if I take away the black and white, he's looking. looking pretty decent even but just for this edit I'm just going to go along with the black and white so it's pretty much set up there so now I'm going to introduce the knee slide so again before I started recording this I cut him out and just noticed I've missed a little bit there so zoom in hit the P for the pen tool nice and quick yeah, selection, and I'm just going to delete that. Command D to deselect. Okay, Command Zero, and I'm just going to slide him over. It's dropped him down in there. I don't know why it's done that. Um, hit V, and I can move him around. So now, Command T, it means you can resize him. I press Shift and Alt on the Mac. Okay, and he grows in proportion. Okay, I've mentioned it on other ones. If you, if you don't hold shift down, okay, you end up getting, getting that. So, command Z takes me back. And I'm going to position him roughly about there. That's looking pretty good. And just while I position him, I'm just going to nudge him over slightly. 0.7. And he looks a little bit better aligned, okay. And again, I'm going to do a layer mask and I'm going to zoom in down here so you can see here where I've got these straight lines, okay. It doesn't look natural, doesn't blend in, okay. This is where we're going to blend in. So hit the hit the brush tool, okay. Pass it 75, probably bring the flow right up, okay. And I'm just just going to nudge it in, and it works quite well because the shadows on his legs and his socks, okay, and they're going to blend in naturally to this dark background. So it's looking good at the minute, it's blending in a lot better. And you'll see what I mean in a sec. So 
Looking good, looking good. Again, take your time, take as long as you need, just make sure you get it right. Okay, and because we're working non-destructively as well, if you do get it wrong, okay, just disable, double click, disable layer mask, and you can see the huge difference there. So straight away, we're looking good. We're looking good. Okay, what I'm also going to do, like I did before, um, just going to, in fact, before I start, I'm going to just desaturate them a little bit. So I'll go to hue saturation. And I'm just going to drop it down. It's a bit too much. 15%. And I'm going to create a clipping mask. So it's just affecting uh, this layer here, just the layer directly underneath. Cool. Okay, so now uh, back on track. I'm just going to do some shading again like I did before. So make sure you've got the black selected. Okay, you've got the flow right down. 3% would be cool. 75, we'll leave it on 75. Okay, I'm just going to just blend it in a little bit more. Down on his legs down there. So we're blending in and then obviously the natural parts. I'm not too fussed. I'm not really too fussed about the light source on on this one, but again, um, if you take your time, keep changing the brush sizes. Nice soft brush. Okay, paint these creases in. Okay, you can dodge and burn it. Uh, this is just one of the many methods that I use, and he's good to go. It's uh, looking a bit ropey there. Yeah. So yeah, uh, maybe underneath his chin as well. Okay, you can really go to town, really take your time. Yeah. Cool, so it's looking good. Okay, so what I also wanna do is then, if I click on the black and white layer, okay, and new layer, I'll bring it above, I'm going to paint just some natural shadow on the floor. So I'll double click, nice soft brush. I'm going to turn it into a bit of an oblong. I'm just going to point it up a little bit. And I'm just going to see what that looks like. Just try and change one mode to soft light, see what it looks like. Uh, there's not much of a difference, but. Uh, I do like to operate in soft light underneath his knees, underneath his legs. Okay, and with some shadows, what they do is they drop the opacity down. It gets a little bit, a little bit weaker the more it gets away from his body. And. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think I might have done a little bit too much shading on his. No. So, just zoom. Yeah, so if we go back to layer mask, okay, so we're working non destructively. Okay, so I'm using that one there. Uh, make sure white selected. Okay, and just paint them back in. Okay, I'm gonna raise raise them up a little bit. Give it a bit too much. But again, I'm just I'm just playing around with it, but I'm just showing you that you can be non-destructive. You can uh, bring it back from the brink. So yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. It's looking, it's looking pretty good. You can something that's quite popular as well that people like to do. So uh, curves layer, okay. And all I'm going to do with this slider down in the bottom corner, I'm just going to bring it in and up. And you can just play around with it. Give it some sort of like um, 
fade effect. A lot of people like to do that. So again, just playing around with the curves, so just something simple like that. Okay, playing around with curves or a gradient. So with that one, I would just click that one there, foreground to transparent. And I would say 80800 is maybe a little bit too much, drop it down a bit. Change, change that to lighten. Drop the opacity down, and then you've got like a gradient down there at the bottom as well. So, yeah, that's whoop. blend and change, light and sorry, 10%. Yeah, so there you go. There's your nice, nice, clean, uh, nice, clean, simple edit. Um, Different plays, you can different styles, change it around. Okay, let's have a look, see what it looks like. Not black and white there. So, yeah, it's, it's looking pretty cool. I like this design. Like I said, I saw it on Pinterest. I saw it um, like American football style, style one. So I thought I'm gonna make make a football, an actual real football one. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Um, anything you do differently, just drop it in the comments below got any questions on how i did anything of that if i did it too fast okay um just let me know and i'll slow down next time but yeah hope you enjoyed that tutorial and if i think of any more design ideas for tutorials i will sure be one to do one thanks a lot cheers